universe where you learn the secrets of the social media through the social universe and in many cases the secrets of the universe itself and the secret that we're uh, learning this segment uh, is uh, definitely universal it's a secret of the universe and it, it goes like this we tend to uh, live to eat rather than uh, eating to live and uh, so we're going to talk yes, a little bit about how do you eat to live but still enjoy what you eat uh, so uh, now Santana tell us a little bit about um, how you eat uh, how, what you recommend uh, people do so that they eat they enjoy their eating but don't become addicted uh, uh, to, to food. I mean, I love food. So you know, people who fall into my category, what do you tell them? Well, I tell them that, you know, first of all, it's, it's about reality, and unfortunately, it's about convenience. And so I've, I've, I've worked at a menu, and I've worked this, uh, this 90 day challenge so that it's, it's, it's reality based. Everybody, anybody can do this. I teach you and show you not only how to read labels, but not from the top to the bottom, how to look for three or four key categories that you will read consistently. And what happens over just a short period of time is you start to uh, know those categories of certain foods. So you're not looking every time because you already know it going into the store. So it's learning how to read labels and certain categories. And then it's showing you how to shop at the grocery store because, I mean, let's face it, I, I get this all the time. It's too expensive to eat healthy because they feel they have to go to the, the health store, Trader Joe's, uh, you know, the, the expensive places. Can I places. make a quick suggestion? Absolutely. They're absolutely not one of our sponsors, even though if anybody knows how to get them to become a sponsor, I am absolutely <laughs> open. We're all about <laughs> referral partnering, so if anybody knows how to bring Winco Foods in uh, to uh, into our uh, marketplace and <laughs> have them advertise with us, we would absolutely love it. But I'm going to give them an advertisement and a plug. Um, there's at least three of them in Arizona. They're kind of an Oregon-based uh, company in, the, in Idaho. So they, they uh, but here's, they are like Whole Foods, they're like Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. but they are extremely inexpensive. They're open 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. they have a lot of bulk items. So you can buy, you'll still cut oats uh, for uh, almost half what you can you can buy at a Whole Foods. You can uh, you can purchase sunflower seeds unsalted, you know, for ninety nine cents a pound, which, uh, which is, is great. A, it's it, absolutely it, good. Yeah, it, it's it's hard to find. Um, and, and before I take my clients down that road, there's a first thirty days of conditioning that we utilize the grocery store. We utilize the supplements that right. are readily and available. Mm -hmm. Um, because I want you get this is a process it's a learning process so that by the end of 90 days or 12 weeks um, in most cases it depends on, on what your goals are you're ready to go on your own you have enough education you have enough basics you've learned some disciplines you've learned how to schedule or plan things out and you realize at the end of 90 days this wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Absolutely, including the shopping. Including you, the shopping. You can take them in there and show them um, how to shop. Well, I mean, I swear when I walk into Winco Foods, I feel healthier, but I have to go past all the unhealthy of course. sections and go to the health section. Retail. And I just, I just <laughs> absorb <laughs> from the store and they have much health. But the point is you need to be able to have somebody like Santana helping guide you into the healthy sections of the, of the store. Right, <laughs> and, and, and you'll get to know these areas just as well as you know other areas. It's just you still find you've spent so much time in these other areas you know them very well. You don't even know how well you know them. Sure. But uh, but you'll, you'll learn these areas really fast, and, and you'll be able to shop at any store, any state, anywhere, uh, on the cuff. So you know. So that's the first 30 days of the, of the plan, is teaching you how to beat the convenience and how to make it easy on yourself. And one of my golden rules is eat, eat well 70% of the time, because you can only control so much, right? So 70% of what goes into your mouth, you can really, really do have control of. Oh, uh, that's true. Whether it's at home, or at work, or when you're at a restaurant. 70% is your control. The other 30%, and this could be on a daily basis, so you might eat, in, in, in our plan, you're eating five, six times a day. So you're probably not gonna eat perfectly five, six times a day. But if you can get four of those meals controlled, and you're putting them in there, then the other one or two it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's one thing I want to stress to people. Don't don't think that you have to give everything up. You don't have to. In fact, you can have the same thing you had for dinner the last couple of weeks for the next couple of weeks. The only thing I'm going to say is cut out your dairy. About half of what your intake is on dairy. Cut out half of your bread. And of course, I mean, it goes without saying, no soda, no chips, no junk food. Now, I say that, but, you know, Saturday night you're going to the movies. Have some popcorn. Just don't put all the butter this time. Don't get the chocolate candy bar this time. Bring a granola bar in with you. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to get a soda. Sorry, Harkins. 
Yeah. <laughs> but, well, and now popcorn is a healthy food. You just uh -huh. got to pop it at home, you know, get an uh -huh. air popper in a microwave. <laughs> but uh, no, but there's just so many tricks. And again, that kind of goes back to social media is uh, once people are on my plan, they get put directly into my Facebook group, um, the 90 Day Challenge Facebook group, and I post everything up there. You know, you can put files up there, of course, you can put pictures, and, you know, I tag them. So everything's always there. So if you don't have to look for it in your desk, you don't have to post it on your refrigerator, although I think you should.